Good evening guys and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces. I still sound and it sounds worse to me today. Um, like my throat is like all like um, I have had like the most as far as like being sick. Um, this I don't even know guys. I, okay the first two days I got sick which was like what last Tuesday or last Wednesday or whatever it was um, those first two days I felt horrible after that I felt like much 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 better today I probably felt the worst I did since those first two days um, I <laughs> like dealing with I don't know like that post nasal drip or whatever it is um, but my throat today was so and honestly too my mom always says this she's like don't have dairy when you are like sick like you go out a cold whatever anything like that because it kind of messes up all of that gunk that's in the back of your throat and your nose and stuff like that even worse so again I had coffee this morning with creamer in it and that was the absolute worst um but I woke up like when I woke up actually a couple times in the middle of the night and I was like my throat feels scratchy again like almost like I'm getting a sore throat and then when I woke up this morning my throat was just all like clogged up and it made it worse too than when I decided to have coffee this morning so I was even like pre like coffee pre dairy that like this was bothering me and then for hours today hours it has just been horrible um and finally I, and I was like taking stuff too like I was taking like mucinex and it was just like I've never been like this far past like feeling bad and then all of a sudden feeling like this again like this was again normally I feel like I get this kind of stuff like earlier into the cold kind of than like this late today was just not at all fun like that whole kind of like you know thing and it sounds like my throat I, I sound kind of like hoarse like my throat sounds like um I don't know I just sound kind of off the weird thing is is that my nose is not actually really what's bothering me it's just like everything kind of um is bothering me like I I, I could hardly eat like I was like in and two trying to figure out what I could eat that I was like sure didn't have dairy in it because I was like anything that I have is just gonna make it like 10 times worse so um like as I was trying to figure out like what stuff I could have that wasn't gonna like I guess and make it worse um and so I was able to do I did some berries also had some uh like uh sugar stamp peas um and so and I had dinner um but I was just you know like trying to find things that like I said didn't have dairy in them so anyways though um you know like I said it's just really weird like you know that it kind of has like been a week already and now I'm feeling like the worst probably today then I did those first like two days and then on top of that too I feel like I ended up kind of like I was getting a headache too because of just how clogged up I was today um and like not being able to like I don't know like I, I just I don't know sinuses probably too a little bit but it wasn't even really my sinuses that felt like they were bothering me but like I said I just kind of had a headache today and so um anyways though uh I think honestly I, I'm feeling much better than I was but I don't know for sure like because right now I haven't had any dairy in probably the last several hours so knowing that like I cut that out at least it just it tends to make that worse and I've definitely noticed that too so again since I haven't had any of that in a while I feel like I've been better but I don't know how much better I like I said I am it's just because I had it this morning um, but like I said the weird thing is, is that it was bothering me even last night while I was sleeping and again too I've slept perfectly fine and every night after those first two days I've been like totally fine and been able I haven't woken up in the middle of the night or anything but I woke up last night probably twice maybe and then this morning I was like am I really getting a sore throat again like that's what it felt like and I was like am I like sick all over again and I was like you know once I finally got up and you know kind of realized okay I had some water I was like okay no it's not really that but the coffee I felt like it's just what did me in this morning and on top of that too I also had a bagel and cream cheese so like that piled on I felt like more dairy but um again it, it feels like at least I'm a little bit better right now and hopefully tomorrow will be better again but um the one thing that I did do guys because my mom went and got the mail um and she ended up bringing me my sales papers and I went through them 
real quick actually while I was watching the um, sporting events that were on today. Um, I watched some hockey and basketball games but um, during that time I just got my grocery list done so I'm actually thinking that I'm going to type them out and send them to my dad tomorrow and he might do Tony's and Caputo's again on his way home from um what's it called from the grocery stores on Thursday and then if that's the case we don't have to do anything again until Sunday so um that keeps us like our whole weekend free so we don't have to go on Friday we won't have to go on Saturday we'll just go to Jewel and Meyer on Sunday we won't have to worry about going to Tony's and Caputo's though or having to push it to Monday like we did this week um but we'll probably wind up doing Meyer again on this coming Monday um but again too that's two days during the week keeps us from having to do things like on the weekend then and we have more time to do other things like projects and you know that kind of stuff so um like I said it's worked out so far um there's a little bit more probably than last week but it's just like mainly produce stuff there's really not a lot of like other couponing things and you know anything like that it's just for the most part um like I'm looking at Caputo's they've got um mushrooms and tomatoes and bananas and I think that's honestly not not it but they have got some other produce things but other than the produce I think that's actually all that we're getting in Caputo's and then Tony's they have a, a one or two other things they do have some deli meat that is on sale and other than that I don't think that there's really anything else entirely going on over there um as far as like really good like sales go and then on top of that too they don't really have any good coupons like like coupon deal sales that are going on like they did have the dunkin um like dunkin donuts coffee um or the like k-cup like the bag coffee or the k-cups but dunkin donuts only have as a 10 count in theirs for like coffee and it was still $5.99 with a coupon I was like if it was five dollars I could see like then that's I feel like a little bit better but it's six dollars and you're only getting ten I was like that's really not that I feel like you could probably even buy bulk for like less money than like you know depending on what store you went to for like less money than what it costs per like k-cup if that makes sense than that sale price if it was a different brand um like that had 12 counts in it um or if duncan had a 12 count um you know that but I don't know theirs and Starbucks I think they do theirs in 10 counts um but it's like the same size box but you get 10 in the count instead of a 12 count which is what the normally they are um because that's what they can fit in the box but for some reason Starbucks and Duncan like they've done this for years it's not just like the shrinkflation thing or anything like that this has been like I think ever since they came out with k-cups literally their size box that's the same as like you know all the other ones you see on the shelf is always a 10 count and so is is um the Starbucks brand but um either way if you know if it was a brand that actually had a 12 count I'd be like oh you know six dollars maybe that's not that bad that's like 50 cents or so per um you know k-cup which isn't isn't the best price you can get them a lot of times cheaper than that but again depending on what brand it was or you know like I said even the Duncan I feel like my mom does like that so if it was that kind but for te cheaper then I'd probably pick it up but like I said I don't think 5.99 is really that good of a price for that so I'm probably going to pass on that. That was the only thing I kind of saw that was like, oh, that might not be too bad of a deal. And the other thing too is that they're bagged coffee for $5.99. That's actually a pretty decent price. However, I have a lot of bagged coffee and I'm not, I actually did use my French press today, but other than that, I am not going through coffee, like bagged coffee that quickly. So I kind of just don't want to use it up right now. And the problem is, is that we do have a, um, like a what's it called I want to say blender that's not it. it's um a grinder like a, a bean grinder I have some like fresh um coffee like beans but um it's not ground so I have to ground them and I just I think it's actually Starbucks brands um but I just keep like pushing it off I'm like I'll just use one of the other ones that have you know that's already ground up and use that instead so and I have one that I'm already open and using right now but I know that I do have one of those in there and I think there's another one or two that I even have that are you know like bagged coffee and so I'm like I honestly am not gonna wind up using like I don't use them that often and the weird thing is is that I like um like iced coffee so that's how I've been making it I normally do it in my french press and then I will end up like refrigerating it for like a day or two and then normally have it like so it's cold um but 
I have been having hot coffee recently. And so when I do hot coffee, I'm normally having it from the Keurig. And so I've been using my K-Cups. So I actually haven't been using bagged coffee quite as often right now. But either way, um, to, to make a long story short, I feel like that's not the best deal for either of those two things. And like I said, the one I, is a better deal, but I don't really need it. So um, it looks like it's mainly just produce in, in the... Uh, What's it called? The deli meats and cheeses. And I also kind of looked over Jules ad already and also Aldi's as well. So I have my list pretty much done for those stores. Like I said, I just have to actually like type it out and then I can send the two of those to my dad um, just for him to use, um, you know, when he goes to the store. But that was what I was up to today. I got that finished up, which I was very happy about because normally I'm not like super like doing it like real early on Tuesday. I'm normally like waiting until the end of the week, but I was like, you know what? I did that on uh, last weekend well like this past weekend saturday once we got back it was like late or like six o'clock almost seven o'clock i still hadn't finished my jewel list and i was like oh my gosh and i was just so exhausted from like all the driving and everything like that too and so i was just like I don't want to do this and so I'm not procrastinating this week. I'm going to finish this up so that again I don't have a reason to wind up um, waiting too long and again I'd rather do it earlier so that my dad could go again even if I finish it tomorrow he might still be able to even go tomorrow um, and or again on Thursday something like that and then he can go and just stop on his way home from work because he was saying like he doesn't necessarily pass by them but from the way he comes he just kind of needs to make like a deep tour and the only reason I think he says he doesn't normally go that way is because there's more lights but if he's stopping anyway to go to the grocery store he passes by pretty much anyway so he says it makes more like and I was saying too like it makes more sense to like go like if for him to kind of go on his way home if he's passing by there instead of driving home then picking me up and then us going back like it just you know he can just kind of go on his way home anyway if he's coming from that direction which for the most part a lot of times depending on where he's working though some of the time he is so um and again it depends he'll sometimes just you know he just has to take a little detour and he's still it's still on the way home basically but um it's not probably the fastest route but he's stopping anyway to do the grocery shopping it's still faster than him coming back here to go back again um so anyways though um and well actually no i think he said the gps is tells him to take that way but he says that normally there's more light so it takes longer so i think he says he doesn't but like the distance is actually like shorter so um i think his gps tells him to go right past there but he normally doesn't so um but you know now he'd actually listen to the gps and just go past it um and then again too he's normally just right there anyway and can pick this stuff up so um so long as there's not a huge ton of stuff or it's not you know like whatever it's just you know like I said when it's the smaller hauls like this it has, has been the last couple of weeks it's just been a couple of things you know he's been able to pick this stuff up after work which I think is really awesome because like I said it kind of saves both of us more time that way um so anyways though I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a little thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys